Have you ever wondered where it all began for the fascinating civilization of ancient Egypt? As we pull back the curtain of history we find ourselves around 6,000 years before the Common Era. The stage? The lush, fertile banks of the Nile River. Here the earliest settlers of what would become ancient Egypt found their home. These pioneers were not just wanderers but farmers. They harnessed the river's power using its seasonal floods to irrigate their crops, mastering techniques that would enable them to sustain their communities. Grains like wheat and barley thrived in the nutrient-rich soil, leading to surplus harvests. This abundance allowed for population growth and the formation of complex societies. The Nile's fertile banks provided the perfect cradle for a civilization that would later shape the world. As time passed, the early settlements along the Nile grew into powerful kingdoms. The scattered tribes of hunters and gatherers gave way to a complex society with distinct political structures. But the real turning point came around 3100 BCE. A ruler by the name of Narmer emerged from the south from a place we now know as Upper Egypt. This formidable leader embarked on a mission to unify the land. He went north, conquering the territories that lay in his path, until he reached the domain of Lower Egypt. With a single decisive stroke, Narmer unified Upper and Lower Egypt, creating a realm that stretched along the length of the Nile. The first pharaoh had arrived, his double crown symbolizing the unity of the two lands. Thus the first pharaoh took his place on the throne, and the era of the pharaohs began. The Old Kingdom era brought with it remarkable advancements in architecture. This was a time that saw the construction of some of the most iconic structures in human history, the Great Pyramids. These colossal tombs, built for pharaohs, were a testament to the Egyptians' ingenuity and architectural prowess. The most famous among them are the Pyramids of Giza, dedicated to pharaohs Khufu, Khafre, and Menkaure. The largest of these, the Great Pyramid of Khufu, was constructed using over 2 million blocks of stone, each weighing an average of 2.5 tons. The precision with which these pyramids were built is awe-inspiring. The base of the Great Pyramid is leveled to within just a fraction of an inch, while its sides are perfectly aligned to the cardinal points of the compass. This level of accuracy, achieved over 4,000 years ago, is a testament to the Egyptians' advanced understanding of mathematics and geometry. But the pyramids are not the only evidence of the Old Kingdom's architectural achievements. The Egyptians also built temples, obelisks and sphinxes, each showcasing their unique design principles and construction techniques. The Sphinx of Giza for instance is a monumental statue carved out of a single block of limestone. These architectural wonders weren't just about showcasing the Egyptian skills though, they were deeply symbolic. Pyramids for instance represented the primordial mound from which the earth was believed to have been created. Temples were seen as the dwelling places of gods and goddesses, while obelisks symbolized the sun god Ra, highlighting the deep connection between architecture and the spiritual beliefs of ancient Egyptians. The pyramids stand tall even today, a testament to ancient Egypt's architectural prowess. Their complex design coupled with their immense size and enduring nature reflect the brilliance of Old Kingdom architects. These structures are not just monuments of stone, they are symbols of a civilization's ambition, belief, and ingenuity. They are indeed the enduring legacy of one of the greatest civilizations in human history. Religion played a pivotal role in ancient Egyptian life. It was not just a system of beliefs, but the very fabric that held their society together. The ancient Egyptians worshipped a pantheon of gods, each in charge of a different aspect of the natural and spiritual world. From the sun god Ra, who brought light to the world each day, to Isis, the goddess of motherhood and fertility, each deity had a significant role in shaping the Egyptians' understanding of the world around them. Temple ceremonies were not just spiritual rituals, but an integral part of societal life. They were occasions for the community to gather, to celebrate and to connect with the divine. Priests and priestesses acted as intermediaries between the gods and the people, performing rituals and offerings to keep the gods appeased. The gods of ancient Egypt were not just deities, they were an integral part of everyday life. The ancient Egyptians communicated through a complex system of writing, hieroglyphs. This form of pictorial script was used for thousands of years, representing a sophisticated blend of ideograms, phonetic signs and determinatives. The hieroglyphs were not just a simple writing system, they were a form of art, deeply intertwined with the culture and religion of the ancient Egyptians. However, the meaning of these intricate symbols was lost to time following the fall of the Egyptian civilization. It wasn't until the end of the 18th century that the mystery began to unravel. 
The discovery of the Rosetta Stone in 1799 provided the crucial breakthrough. This slab of granodiorite bore the same text in three scripts, Ancient Greek, Demotic, and Hieroglyphic. Thanks to the Rosetta Stone, scholars were able to cross-reference the text and crack the code of the hieroglyphs. The Rosetta Stone unlocked the secrets of hieroglyphs, providing a window into ancient Egyptian life. The New Kingdom era marked the Golden Age of Egypt. This period, spanning from the 16th to the 11th century BCE, was a time of wealth, power, and expansion, transforming Egypt into a dominant world power of the ancient world. The New Kingdom is characterized by a series of strong and ambitious pharaohs who weren't afraid to break the mold. One of the most iconic figures of this era was Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great. His reign, one of the longest in Egyptian history, saw an extraordinary amount of construction and a series of military campaigns that extended Egypt's influence far beyond its borders. Another key figure of the New Kingdom was Tutankhamun, the Boy King. Although his reign was short, his legacy endures chiefly through the discovery of his nearly intact tomb in the Valley of the Kings. The wealth of artifacts found within, including the famous gold death mask, attest to the immense wealth and craftsmanship of this era. The New Kingdom wasn't just about individual rulers though. It was an era of architectural innovation and artistic evolution. The Egyptians of this period built grand temples, colossal statues, and elaborate tombs. They developed new techniques in sculpture and painting, creating works of art that still inspire awe today. The power and prestige of Egypt during the New Kingdom era also led to significant expansion. The Egyptians established an empire that extended from modern-day Sudan in the south to modern-day Syria in the north. This expansion brought new wealth, new ideas and new people into the kingdom, enriching Egyptian culture and adding to its complexity. But it wasn't just about wealth and power. The New Kingdom was also a time of religious revolution, exemplified by the reign of Akhenaten, who attempted to replace Egypt's traditional gods with the worship of a single god, the Aten. The New Kingdom was a golden era of prosperity, leaving behind a wealth of artifacts for us to marvel at today. Despite its grandeur, ancient Egypt was not immune to the forces of time. As we trace the arc of this extraordinary civilization, we find it intersecting with other powerful empires of the ancient world. Around the late 6th century BCE, Persians under the command of Cambyses II swept into Egypt, marking the beginning of a period of foreign rule that would last for centuries. Despite their control, the Persians allowed the Egyptians to maintain their culture and traditions, a testament to the resilience and influence of the Egyptian civilization. Yet the Persian rule was merely the first act in a drama of invasions and conquests. The arrival of Alexander the Great in the 4th century BCE ushered in a new era, the Ptolemaic dynasty. Under this Greek rule, Egypt flourished once again, becoming a center of Hellenistic culture and learning. The city of Alexandria, with its legendary library, became a beacon of knowledge that attracted scholars from far and wide. However, the flame of Egyptian independence flickered and died when the Romans, under the command of Octavian, later known as Augustus, defeated Cleopatra VII, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom. Egypt was then annexed as a province of the Roman Empire, marking the end of thousands of years of pharaonic rule. The sands of time may have slowly buried the civilization, but the legacy of ancient Egypt continues to shape our world. From the mysteries of the pyramids and the elegance of hieroglyphics to the allure of their gods and the grandeur of their pharaohs, the echoes of Egypt reverberate through the corridors of history. The echoes that inspire us to look back, to learn, and to marvel at the achievements of a civilization that, in the face of decline and conquest, left behind a legacy as enduring as the pyramids themselves. The sands of time may have buried the civilization but the legacy of ancient Egypt continues to shape our world. As we delve deeper into the layers of history, we uncover the enduring influence of ancient Egypt on our modern world. The civilization might have declined, but its legacy permeates through our culture, our sciences, and our arts. The principles of architecture, the allure of the mystical hieroglyphs, the wisdom of their spiritual beliefs, all have left an indelible imprint on humanity. The Greek historian Herodotus once said, Egypt has more wonders in it than any other country in the world. This statement holds true even today as archaeologists continue to unearth treasures hidden beneath the sands, revealing more about this remarkable civilization. The intelligence and creativity of the ancient Egyptians have not only stood the test of time, but continue to inspire and fascinate us. 
The pyramids, once a testament to the divine power of the pharaohs, now stand as a testament to human ingenuity. The hieroglyphs, once a sacred script, now provide us with a window into the past. The gods and goddesses, once the spiritual backbone of the civilization, have now become iconic figures in popular culture. As we conclude our immersive journey into the heart of ancient Egypt, we not only admire its grandeur but also appreciate its influence that transcends time and space. If you enjoyed this journey through ancient Egypt, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating historical explorations.